Please, how can I help? Hello. Hello, can I help you? My car is nearly, it's really stuck in the ice and I'm thinking that if I just like move anywhere, uh, uh, the car will just go slipping everywhere. A genuine call to Greater Manchester Police. Just one of the hundreds of non-emergencies dialed through to 999 every day. They waste the time of the police, fire and ambulance services and could be putting lives at risk. We've had uh, people phone up because the pets are injured, some way or other. Um, plenty of stubbed toes, broken nails, um, pulled muscles from a workout at the gym. Um, or just people need tablets picking up from the pharmacy, they can't get out. So how often do you notice you get these kind of inappropriate calls? I believe it's about between 10 to 15% of all emergency calls that are deemed as inappropriate. Ambulance operators deal with about 3,000 calls every day in the northwest. They're meant to be the lifeline that saves people from serious illness, injury or even death. But with the lines blocked with inappropriate calls, that lifeline could be wasted and a life could be lost. I'd say think before you call. Think about why you're calling. Think about why you think you need an ambulance and then think about could you go to a pharmacy, could you go to your doctor, could you call the NHS direct or could you go to a walking centre before you call us. The service is also spreading that message with specially branded ambulances. We're one of the busiest control rooms in the country, one of the busiest ambulance services in the country. Uh, when we are extremely busy we, we put out a lot of resource out on the road and those vehicles as they come free go to the next emergency as they're available. When some of those calls are inappropriate, they take those vehicles away from those people who really need it, and that's when it becomes a major issue for us. Ambulance emergency, what's the address of the emergency? 93,000 emergency calls are made to the ambulance service every month, and they say half of those need neither an ambulance or an A&E department, so they can cut those calls in half and still save more lives. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.